All right, so we back at it. First video of 2024, man. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Hope everybody had a Happy New Year that celebrates it out there. Your boy is finally feeling better. I had flu slash COVID. I don't know what it was. Shut your boy down, but I'm back. We got more cases to get into for this year. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And this one right here is going to be a case that a lot of you always told me, T, you got to try out. You like leather cases. You're giving all these leather cases love. You got to try Keyway. So this is a long time coming. I've seen their leather cases floated around the internet for so many, just for a very long time i had to go out there and buy it for the 15 pro max and i've had this thing for like almost a month i've used it i have my thoughts on it let's go ahead and check it out now the first thing that we got to go ahead and can appreciate the keyway did probably the first in my accessory youtube career is they gave you a nice little like aluminum case for the phone to come in look presentation is everything keyway you've already won me over with the presentation it's probably why the cost is what it is but it's not too bad so as you can see this is going to be an aluminum case it says keyway right Right here, you flipping it over on the back. What did I say? Flipping it over, fl flick it the wrist, flip it over on the back, man. It says built to to Rome, Keyway Designs. It lets you know the materials and it lets you know who it's actually packed by with a little initial. I don't know who that is, but thank you for packing Technical T's case. Full grain leather, solid metal buttons, microfiber lining, neo dim neo. What is that? Neodymium? Ne I have two degrees. I should know that word, man, but it's some type of magnets, but we don't care about all what the magnets is. We, we care about the strength. So it has those type of magnets, polycarbonate shell, and it's made in China, designed in Canada. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Flipping it over, this is what you are greeted with. And can we just appreciate the, let's keep going with the presentation, man. You got the nice foam on the inside. Now it does come with some stickers and a bunch of different things, but I have taken that out and I don't know where they are, but let's go ahead Ahead and talk, take a look at the case itself. Now, as you can see, this is going to be called their whiskey colorway. They do have like four other colorways. They have an olive slate and I think a black. So they got four colors. Currently, the whiskey is sold out. So this colorway, which I love this brown, light, tannish colorway, no matter who makes them, I always love this colorway. This is currently sold out, but they have the other three colorways in stock. And this case will run you 50 bucks. So let's go ahead and step through it. You know, the classic things when it comes to a nice quality leather case, you're going to have that metallic I like to put it to my face so I can make sure it's metallic so you can feel the cold on your face, man. So you have that me metallic camera ring. Now, there's something that I think that's going to be very subjective, depends on how you feel about it, but they have their Keyway Designs little logo right here, which is also aluminum. So it's a nice little touch. I'm not mad at it, to be honest with you. I'm not mad at it. I know these cases, it's going to be that full grain leather, so it will patina over time. And I feel like this might get some scratches and things down the line, but I don't know. I've used it for a few days and I, I really can't tell it being a big issue. Now, when you're looking at the buttons, of course, metallic buttons, pop power button over here, you have your action button volume up and down. On the inside, like I said, you get that soft lining. It says built to Rome, Keyway established in 2012. So slightly a new company, love to see it. And you can see those magnets out there. Flipping it over on the bottom, you can see all of your cutouts are accurate. So let's go ahead and bring the scale over here. Let's see what we are talking about with the weight. And this one will run you. 36 grams, so not too bad when it comes to a leather case. 36 grams isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and pop the 15 Pro Max in there, and we'll test out test that fit out a little bit, man. I feel like that was a little bit of mushy when it came to that fit. 272 grams with the Keyway on top of the 15 Pro Max. I don't know what I was saying right there, man, but let's go ahead and continue. So let's take a look at it. You can see right here going around it. This is basically how it looks on that natural titanium. Once again, it comes in all the other th three colors as well. I only have this colorway. So let's go ahead and step around it. So when it comes to that lay on tail protection with me rocking that tempered glass screen protector, it's a leather. So it does have a little lip that goes around it. Not too big, but the lip is there and you can feel that lip. So putting it down, of course, you can rub it around. It's going to be sitting on that leather and not on that display and when you come to that camera you already know man the camera is going to protect those the camera lip is going to protect those cameras it isn't too big it isn't too thick but you know it does keep protect them and it's in and, and that's no problem right there now when you were talking about let's take a look at how does it feel or how does it fit on the phone I'm, I'm skipping around it's been a minute since i reviewed these cases how does the case fit on the phone and let's go ahead and take a look at how it snaps on so this side eh, it snaps on okay the other side snaps on pretty decent. It doesn't give you a nice, confident snap. It kind of, I don't know. The fit doesn't give me that nice snap as something like an Andar Aspen does or a, 
Um, what's another leather case? A uh, sand mark leather case that I have. It doesn't give me like a defining snap that the case is in here. And when you're talking about taking it off, I mean, this is going to be kind of standard protocol when you're talking about taking a case off like this. It can kind of remove fairly easy. You don't have to fight it off, but I feel like it's up there enough for it to fit good. Now, when it comes to the fit, I would say... I would like a little bit more of a, just a snap to to give me that confirmation that the phone is in there. It comes, it goes in there, but it doesn't give me a super reassuring snap. Not terrible, but would like for it to be just cleaned up a little bit. And when you're talking about fit, of course, this is going to be a leather case. You don't have any pull issues or anything like going on. Now, how does it feel in your hands? How does this leather case feel in your hands? And we all know when it comes to fresh, full grain leather cases, in the beginning, these bad boys can be very slippery, but as this develops a patina, it starts taking the oils from your hands, the characteristics of a leather case changes greatly, and I think it will become slippery. So as it is right now, I don't feel like it's too slippery. It is a, a tad bit, but it isn't terrible in my opinion. When you're talking about thickness, this is going to be a leather case. I feel like leather cases are all standard protocol when it comes to the thickness. I feel like we may need to start you know, weighing how thick these bad boys are, but it's not going to be anything thick or bulky in your hand. It's going to keep it very thin, of course. Of course, this is a leather case. The comfort in your hand, it doesn't have any sharp edges. Once again, it's a leather case, so you don't have anything digging in your finger, digging in your hands or anything like that. Now, let's go ahead and test out the MagSafe, aka the Mag Shake Shake Test. So let's go ahead and bring the magnet over here, the first magnet, the big boy over here. Let's test out those Keyway magnets. Now, they had that neo Urium type magnets. I don't know what that equates to, but I know what mag, I know y'all know what the MagSafe test looks like. And let's just go ahead and test it out. And is it going to try to pick up this base? It tries to pick it up, but it's not going to get it up. It is going to try to pick it up. You know, it's it's it's, it's January. Well, it's not January 1st anymore. It's January 2nd. So you might want to get in that gym a little bit, Keyway. But it's it wants to pick up the base, but it's not quite there, which isn't too, too bad. But it's still plenty strong. If it can begin to pick that base up, trust me, the magnets are fine for everyday use. But... Let's go ahead also and grab the MagSafe magnet. Now I'm kind of cheating right here with the with the apple brown color. So you can kind of get a gist of what it may look like color difference if you know what the brown apple wallet looks like compared to the whiskey keyway designs right here. So uh, you know, the magnet seems like it's okay. You know what I mean? Once again, leather on leather, I feel like it doesn't leave room for it to get a little bit of friction and, and stay up there. I feel like that does kind of move a little bit too easy in my opinion. So I think you kind of already, you already know where this mag shake shake test is going. So popping the mag safe accessories up there. Let's see. There it is. You can kind of already see it, man. So the magnets are going to be ridiculous strong, but I feel like it'll get the job done. Once again, nobody is throwing their, their phone around. They're not shaking it crazy like that. I feel like it will still get the job done. So that's going to be the Keyway leather case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Just like I stated, this case is going to be 50 bucks, 50 dot zero zero just 50 bucks not 49.99 nothing like that i will leave the links down below they make these for the iphone and i know they had a category for samsung as well so if you like samsung products you're looking for a leather product over there they make them as well like i stated man i felt like the case is very good the buttons oh i forgot buttons nice and Nice and tactile buttons. Sorry, I almost forgot about the button test. I knew I was missing something in between, man. But this is the first video of 2024, man. Give me a little bit of leeway. Give me a little bit of grace. Just got back from being sick, man. But it does. The buttons work just fine. The fit, I feel like it's okay. Magnets, okay. 50 bucks. Once again, man, I still feel like the Andar Aspen is just giving me everything that I'm looking for when it comes to a leather case. The buttons are super clicky. The magnet is plenty strong. You get tons of different color options. Slightly a little bit more expensive than this, but I feel like this is a solid case. I like the keyway design right there. I feel like this is kind of signature. I love cases that kind of give you like a little signature look. 50 bucks, I feel like it's worth it to give it a try. I feel like the Andar Aspen's probably is still going to be a little bit better if I had to compare the two. But I feel like for 50 bucks, this is going to be the solid offering. If you want to give Keyway a look, you want to give them some support, go holler at them. Reach out to them, man. I don't think it's a bad option. Of course, soon we need to go ahead and start to do that best leather case video for the 15 Pro Max and actually rank these leather cases because I got a bunch in. This week, you might see more than one leather case. So this is going to be the Keyway Designs leather case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Links down below. But if you want to check out the Andar Aspen, which I feel like is the best Left the case right there on the mark. If there's something else, man, let me know in the comments down below. But if you want to that end or ask me out, I'll be sure to pop that video right here.